Flaming water and falling home prices. Is Prince George's County ready for fracking? Maryland's Prince George's County saw its economy grow in the early 2000s with a diverse middle class. But when the mortgage crisis hit in 2008, Prince George's was hit hard. Now the county has begun to recover, led by home prices that are finally reaching pre-recession values. But in this fragile economy, here's a new twist. The natural gas industry wants to drill here. It is zeroing in on a large pool of gas that stretches up from Virginia and runs below the southern third of Prince George's County. It's called the Taylorsville Gas Basin. Companies want to use a controversial and powerful gas drilling technique called hydraulic fracturing or fracking. But would this be good for Prince George's? The fracking process requires deep drilling, explosives, and corrosive chemicals miles beneath the ground to harvest the gas. The resulting jobs will help some workers, but the negatives of fracking are widely documented. Deforestation, heavy truck traffic, earthquakes, and of course, flammable tap water. Frack gas literally leaks into nearby wells and aquifers. Amazingly, fracking is now spreading to urban and suburban areas, like Fort Worth, Texas. No one expected fracking near these Denver suburban homes. No one thought residents would need to sue gas companies over cancer threats and pollution violations amid backyards and parks. But it's happening. And could it happen in Prince George's? After all, surprisingly, Maryland is home to five gas basins statewide. Thankfully, no frackings occurred in Maryland so far due to health and environmental concerns, but a temporary statewide moratorium expires in just two years, meaning drilling could begin in Prince George's as early as 2017. Meanwhile, the gas industry says Prince Georgians shouldn't worry. Fracking demand is mostly in western Maryland and it will take years to reach Prince George's. But then why has a Texas company already leased 84,000 acres for fracking in the same exact basin just across the Potomac in Virginia, where the company says it intends to drill soon? If fracking's about to start there in this very same gas pool, why wouldn't it also start in Prince George's soon? And what if the drilling did start across the lower third of the county? What then? Trucks, noise, industrial operations would overrun formerly tranquil areas. And studies show that homes nationwide within a mile of fracking operations fall as much as 15% in value. Can Prince George's afford this? After drilling, property values almost never rebound to pre-drilling levels. Why would Prince George's, still recovering from the last housing collapse, risk such a thing? Homeowners have suffered enough, and the economic gain from fracking is simply no match for all the detriments. So what can be done? Many places, like the town of Bonita Springs, Florida, and entire counties in New York State, have permanently banned fracking through local ordinances. Indeed, Montgomery County, Maryland, just right next door, also has a shell gas basin, the Culpeper Basin, in the northern part of that county. Concerned that fracking would harm property values, the county council there eliminated fracking as a zoning option in the fall of 2014 in the county. Jobs and economic development are badly needed in Prince George's County, but not this kind. Instead, the county should continue to support sustainable jobs through clean, not dirty, energy. It's time to act in Prince George's. The county council should immediately join other prudent jurisdictions in Maryland in banning fracking now. Our local leaders should keep our community healthy and happy. Join the movement now to protect Prince George's. People all over the country are standing up to preserve their communities and create real jobs with sustainable economies. We can do that here, together. Get involved. Learn more at chesapeakeclimate.org backslash pgfrackingban.